moisturized I've got no makeup on whatsoever and as you can tell by my skin it is very uneven as you can see I've got a lot of dark patches right here my skin is uneven I've got a breakout on the side of my nose as well which you can see right there there's a scar sorry I'm not used to this camera I should be after a year but I've got a scar right there so first antitone your face which I already did before this video then second thing you want to do is to put lip balm on and with my gun I'm going to just use this one for today this is the Nivea Essential Care and as you can see as much love is really grubby as well so I do apologize so yeah I'm just gonna have a quick swatch of that over my lips because my lips are not the best at the moment so I don't know what is gonna, the lipstick is gonna come out like and the second thing you want to do is obviously you want to put your hair back if you've got like if you've got like longish hair short is it and it annoys you you can always clip it back with one of these bad boys or you could just easily just put it up in the ponytail so yeah i'm just going to just shove my up out of the way at the moment i tend to use one of these as well just to keep the hair away from my face which is like a, just a normal headband I got this from Asda's a while ago back and needless to say it is really old so yeah I just shove that up so all my excess hair is out the way but like I said the first thing you want to do is moisturize and I don't use a primer but you can use a moisturizer let that set in and then the primer so I'm going to use the photo finishing ready this is from Crate and now I don't use a lot guys so yeah I'm just going to put this on my face and I'll probably end up speeding this section up anyway just so it, it doesn't make this video too long. You let this sink into your skin and then you want to put on your foundation. Now I've got the choice of two. So I don't know which one I'm actually going to go for today, but for some reason I can only find the one. Oh, no, I found it. So, because I am a little bit paler on the, as you can see, I have got two. I've got my L'Oreal True Match and I've got my um, Revlon Colorstay. I might use my Revlon Colorstay because I haven't used it in a while. So, but obviously the downside to it is obviously it's got no pump. So... Yeah, I'm just going to take my normal brush, which I use, and do apologise to state on my brushes. They do need to be badly washed. But I'm just going to use this small, it's like a kabuki sort of brush. Nah. So I'm going to pour it onto the back of my hand. And I think that might have been too much. Oops. Oh well. Start as you mean to go on. So I'm going to just start by dabbing this on my face. If you can see I'm not looking directly into the camera. It's because I have got a mirror right behind this camera. My big mirror as you can tell is missing from there. But that's what I tend to use when I'm doing my makeup. So. Oh shit. A bit too much. So I'll try and put a bit less on. And then you just buff it in really it depends how you want to apply it but I tend to stipple it on and then buff it into the skin but like I said it is down to personal preference on how you want it but make sure you do blend it into your neck it is really important that you do or otherwise you're just gonna end up looking silly basically Right, so as you can see now, I have got my foundation on. I've only got a, uh, slight, uh, one layer on. Usually I do two, but I'm not in the, I'm not in the mood for medium coverage today. So I'm going to go in with my concealer. And these are new ones, guys, so I am trying them out. So it's like a first impression sort of thing as well. Now, I got these from the factory shop, I think. I haven't hauled them yet. And it's the Instant Age by Maybelline and it's the concealers. I've got two. I've got one in light and I think I got one in nude, I think, because the sticker's covering it, so we'll find out. 
yeah so i've got the darker one obviously to match my skin tone and then the lighter one then just to brighten up the under eyes so we can see how it goes and how do you get these things off oh they've got a seal on them so two sets right guys so i'm back after taking the darn plastic off of these things so i'm going to do my under eyes first and obviously it comes with a lid and you pop it off and apparently you're supposed to twist it Hmm. This is going to be a lot of now. I am going to actually try and, and apply this Carzilla now, so we're going to see how it is. Whoa, I wasn't expecting it to be like that, to be honest with you. Was not expecting it to be like that. Whew. So, I either tend to use a brush or I use my finger, but I think in this case, I am just going to use my finger and see how it is. Wow, I wasn't expecting it to be like this sort of brightness. It's just going to take me a while to get used to this. And there's a lot of product in this. So I might just have to highlight down the nose as well. Because there is a lot of product. I wasn't expecting this much to actually come out. And then highlight my cupid's bow as well. And to highlight this thing as well. Whoa, I wasn't. So, needless to say, guys, you will get a lot out of the first pump. So, I might have to use a brush for this. Now, once I've thinned it all out. The one thing I will say about this one is, guys, that I've got a crease right under my eye and it brings it out really bad. So I'll probably speed it up anyway. Right guys, so Jesus Christ this is lightning. So Nina say I think with this product a little does go a long way, but oh my god, look at me, I look more white than what I usually do. So I'm gonna quickly use the other one now to cover my spots before I do do my powder. Try and find where well, there it is and just dab a little bit on there and just blend it in. I don't get spots as bad as I used to, but I still do get them. I didn't blend in the highlight that well. Oh well, we'll deal with that another day. But this one is a lot darker, so that's why I got the two one to cover my spots and one to like to highlight because i find i tend to find i find it really hard to find concealers that are really lightening like this one oh my jesus is it's there like but the other the other lots i've been trying it's been ridiculous so this one i think i will be sticking to well, hey next I'm going to powder so it all stays in place and I don't think I'm going to find my mineral. So I'm going to use this one a minute until I can find my mineral one. This is my MUA press powder. This is in shade 1. And I've been using this a lot recently only to add extra coverage because I have been having really bad breakouts. And I can't find the brush. I'm going to use this one. It's like tapered sort of thing but it does the job. So what you want to do is guys, that is, this is really pigmented as you can see. So you want to just knock a bit of it off before you put it on, otherwise it will cake up. I tend to press, but if you want a thing, you crack on. But I tend to press when it comes to that way, then the foundation doesn't move. But then obviously different people do it different ways, and if they want to do it that way, I'm not going to knock them for doing it. So try and bring some colour back to my skin because I do look really white. I feel like it's a bit better now I've got powder on. I've just put too much on that brush. There we 
we are so it is highlighted in the places it wants to be so I'm just going to make sure this powder stays put because if it goes from anywhere it's usually my neck rather than my face which is quite strange but right, yeah guys, so I am back I do apologize for all these interruptions as you can see I'm more organized than ever but I did actually find it and it was already on my bed that was an epic fail so excuse me I'm going to take my flawless concealer brush which is by e.l.f. and my e.l.f. high definition powder now I only tend to use this when it comes to my under eyes because it does really brighten them up but a little does go a long way and there's not a lot of product in this guys so I tend to just put a little bit into the lid swirl my brush in tap the excess back off into the dish and then I just tend to roll it rather than press it in because that way then the concealer is or the highlight then is not going to move so it's it's painstaking but it's worth it if your concealer does crease because I find my concealer creases really bad so yeah I'll probably speed this bit up I didn't know I don't know if you guys actually saw that then but this is the trouble that you do have with HD powders and if I can I will re reverse it and show you but on this side particularly if you notice I was having that flashback where it just looked pure white and that's what happens when you have HD cameras that it focuses on that particular spot and it's like woof but obviously now it is gone so yeah so that's my under eye and that's my foundation bit done then whoa dropping things shadow or primer so I'm just going to quickly decide now what colour I'm going to wear and I'll be alright. Right guys, so I'm back and I've decided what I'm going to go on. I'm going to go for something that's quite autumn because it obviously it's autumn now in the UK sort of. I'm going to go with my colour tattoo which is by Maybelline and this is Metallic Pomegranate. so the next thing I'm going to do is take my dupe of the Naked palette and I'm going to use the shade Toasted which is the shade right here on my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush when I can actually find it and I'm going to actually use the mirror actually in my Naked palette so I do apologize if I'm not looking at the camera but I am trying my best it's the first time for everything so yep so I'm just going to put this all over the lid on its own. Yeah. Now I'm going to go in with a matte colour. So I'm going to stay with this palette I think just for today. And use Buck which is actually a matte sort of shade. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. Um, eye crease brush, I couldn't think what it's called then, but this is from the Essential range. I'm taking another crease brush. I'm just going to go with... Well, not. yeah I'm just going to take a little bit of Crete and I do apologise for all the bloopers in this video it's going to be fucking around us I might take Creep and just put it on the outer V which is this shade right here I'm just going to take my e.l.f. blending brush if I can find it. Where are you? There you are. With no product on and I'm just going to blend, obviously blend it all in. I have a play with this one and this is the Nikki Basis. And this is obviously the dupe and the links the link for this is in one of my videos I can't remember which one it is but that's what it is and I'm gonna take 
booty call and just put that on the arch on the arch of my eyebrow and where are you i'm just going to use my blending brush for this it's so much easier and i'm just going to use this mirror then that's in front of me so like i said guys i do apologize if i am out of focus so Because I find this is not highlighting enough, I'm going to go in with half baked and see if that's any better. Oh, yeah, that smells better. I'm going to get another clean blending brush. We'll just use this big one over here and just to blend it all out. So, and there we go. Right, and normally the next step what I would do is I would normally do my eyebrows but obviously I'm not going to do those today because I can't be bothered to faff around with them so I'm just going to do my eyeliner and mascara and then right, I'll be guys, all so right. back. As you can see I'm at a different angle so I hope this angle is a bit better for you but all I basically used was my I'm gonna zoom up close for you. I'm just gonna. I just use my eyelash curlers, which I got from Primark. I use the Rimmel Lash Accelerator, but like I said, everything that I've used in this video will be listed down below. But yeah, that is what I use for my eyelashes, and I use my Rimmel Scandalized Eye um, Cajol Waterproof Eye Pencil as well. But I did set it with a black powder as well to make sure it didn't budge. Now I'm gonna go in with. MUA for blush, MUA, and this is in a bonbon. So let me. Well, like I said, guys, you don't need a lot of this, as you can see now. It don't look as intense in real life than what than what it does on camera. So don't worry about that. So I'm just gonna get another brush now, just to uh, fling it out. Because as you can see, this will make a pretty good contour, but, like obviously for me, but at the same time, as you can see on this side, it does add that sort of glow. But I do want to ask you guys as well what your opinions are on the NYX, um, what's it called, the blushing taupe because i have been looking at it for a while some people are saying it's good some people are saying it's bad so pop it in the comments below if you think i sh i should get it because i'm really fair skin as you could tell from the beginning of this video so i want like i've been struggling with trying to find the right bronzer so like i said just let me know guys in the comment section down below then i'm gonna see now which is the best lip color to pop so I don't know what I'm gonna go for. Let's see. No, that'd be too dark. This is what I did have on in my what's it called? Can't remember what video it is now. It'll probably be an annotation somewhere, but this is the one I used. So yeah, I might go with this one actually. And this is the makeup revolution. This is a new one I haven't hauled, but then the package is not all that sturdy. It's a vamp shade. And this is in the shade Rebel with Chaos. So I don't know if you guys are going to see it. But that's what it is. And it looks a really intense on camera. But I swear once you put it on your lips it's not all that bad. So I'm just going to quickly do that. And I'm just going to dab it in then. In our fingers. Usually I use a lip liner, but I can't be dealing with that today. And I should have exfoliated my lips. So sorry if I am going out of frame, guys. Let's see. Let's pull you down so you can see what I'm doing. There we are. But. That's the thing with intense colours, people associate it with it being too dark, where if you just shear it out, 
like what I've done, it doesn't look all that intense. That looks more intense than what it does on my lips. So, or if you really wanted to, you could go for a nude, but I'm not going anywhere today. So I just felt like I needed to do my makeup. So yeah, I will be back with you now. And this is the finished look. So that I will show you now what I look like at the beginning and what I look like at the end. Hope you guys did enjoy this get ready with me. And it is new to me. I'm not used to like so it will take me a while to get used to camera angles and stuff like that. And the way of positioning things. But yeah like I said everything will be listed down below. And don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys. I can run away quick enough. Question eight, do you have freckles? Yes, I do. Sometimes it shows through my foundation, which is